As many of you know, I utilize and recommend proclamanin in my practice because of its ability to lower cholesterol, research on healthy weight management, as well as promoting a healthy gut microbiome that reduces inflammation and supports better blood sugar control. Now, proclamanin is a highly purified form of glucomannan, and I really want to illustrate the differences between the two because proclamanin is not even close to being the same as the impacts it has supported by research versus the impacts of glucomannan. This is why it's really important to pay attention to supplements because not all supplements are created equally. So propylmanin, which is what I use in my fiber lean, has over 100 clinical studies supporting the claim that is on the bottle. The bottle gets to use the claim, supports healthy weight management, helps to support lowering cholesterol. Those claims are there because of the clinical studies showing that. In addition, it has over 14 safety studies and has been proven to be arsenic free. Now, none of that exists for glucomannan and here's how companies get away with it. Okay, so here's one example and I've removed the company name. Their claim on their bottle says, supports healthy cholesterol levels already within healthy range. Not lowering. Supports normal in a normal person. And it does say healthy weight management with an asterisk. If you go onto the company's website, that asterisk will say, this is not approved by the FDA, these claims. That is the difference right there.